All right, I'm Jim Sands, tying over here at the Caddis Fly today. We're going to tie a fly that I've seen very little information about, but it's a local favorite called the Town Run. I'm going to use the colored eyes instead of the nickel eyes. And yeah, it's a great pattern. People love it around here. And let's get to it. First thing we're going to do is just tie some thread down our shank. Nip it off right about there. Get this guy tied in. Let's rock this back a little bit further. You want to make sure that that's butted up right in there. And I like to really get that thread back behind it. Work this all the way up. If you come up loose, go down tight. Come up loose, go down tight. You'll keep that line right on the top of the shank the whole way down. Unless you messed it up like I just did there. But it's something I've been practicing, so I thought I'd point it out. Maybe someone else will want that helpful tip. Once you get to about right where the return eye is, bend it back over. Tie it all the way down to about right there. Get rid of your excess. Take your hook. Hide it under a magnet so you don't hook yourself because that hurts. A little peacock dubbing in black. This creates a little bump right at the back for the squirrel tail to sit on. Just like so. Then we take our blue gray squirrel tail. Let's grab a little clump. Pull out all the stuff that you don't want. Put in your trash. You can stack them to like line up these ends, but I kind of like them a little on the sloppy side. And I like it to go right to the, right where my hook eye sits. And really butt that up against that dubbing and then kind of splay it out just a little bit so it sits like that. And to keep the body uniform, I like to tie this all the way down to that return eye. Right about there. Nip off the excess. Next, we're going to tie in some schloppen in chartreuse. We're going to tie it in by the tip. Yeah, tip-ish, like around there. We've got all this to work with, so we're gonna strip this whole side of the feather so that it's not too overpowering. Lay all the fibers back. Tie it in right at that junction. And work our way down. Trying to keep the body as even as possible. Here in a second, we're gonna be putting some Flash boo on the top of this, and it's nice if you keep the body fairly even as you're going. And now it's time for the flash boo. I'm using the lateral scale just because it looks cool, but you can use the normal stuff if you want. And I like the edge of this to meet up right where that schlop and stem is. Go back up, grab your return eye while you're down here. Couple wraps right there to get ready for everything to start meeting. And wrap your body. With the purple thread underneath it, it's nice because it kind of darkens this out a little bit. It makes a really cool, like, opaque color for an underbody. Time for the swap in. I like to do one full turn right around the back and then just open spirals nice and even up nothing too crazy you don't need a lot of this ah. I 
that. And then I'd like to do a couple four turns right here. Just create something for the rest of the materials to sit up against. That should be enough right there. Strip off the extra. Hit my light. It's okay though. These are the aqua flies, size 532nd. Go around the base a little bit. Come back over. Make sure they're nice and straight. Those are straight. Enough for me at least. All right, so we've got that. Next, we tie in. the blue and red hackles. I had a little brain lapse for a second there. Again, about an inch. This is a little over an inch, so I'll probably be stripping a little bit off of that. We'll just do that now. Just stripping a little bit off the butt end of this, so I don't have too many. And we're gonna strip the one side again. There's a lot of colors going on in this fly, so I like to try to keep a minimalist approach as much as I can with it. These colors will show through the black marabou that's going on here in a sec really well. So you'll see the chartreuse Definitely, and then the blue, and here in a second will be a red one. And they end up with such a nice little accent to them, even though there's a lot going on. It all tries to be very subtle and simple. So there's the blue, now time for some red. Tiny little tip, grab the tip. Pull off all the one side. This one I'm going to tie on the bottom because I'm getting pretty close to where I want to be with everything. Three wraps. Go in. Try to keep your wraps as close to each other as possible. Like so. Three wraps, cut the stem. Next, our marabou. We've got a marabou here. I'm going to strip off a little bit more off the back end of this. Find the tip, strip all, or gently preen all the other fibers down. Get that tip up. Lick it if you want to get the tip to cooperate with you. And I'm tying it under, but kind of on my side. Get everything back. Tie that stem in really good. You can either leave this stem in general. I like to trim it out, but every once in a while I'm in a hurry and just want to get out and go fishing, so I'll leave the stem in there. It doesn't really make a huge difference. Bring the one side down. You want about three to four wraps of this depending on how dense of a marabou feather you have. Like so. Turn off your stem again. I like to try to keep all the stems on the bottom so they hide between those two eyes. It's just a really good secure place to keep the bulk away from the top of the fly. Next, we're going to do some flash actually, some blue flash. And when I'm trying to do this part and I have lead eyes, this is a nice little trick. You just take it, hook it on your front eye and pull it and you've got it equal on both sides instantly. Just something to save a little bit of time. 
make life a little easier. And again, I like to trim that uneven, like so. Pull them off to the side because we're going to put some ostrich right there on the top. About eight fibers of ostrich or so, six to eight. Just so you have a nice little tuft of ostrich on the top. So, okay, so this fly is almost done. Last thing, the fly was originally tied with a head of mohair in black. I found that I really like the way it looks by taking some of this ice dub, ice Senyo's laser dub in black. And I just pull it so all the fibers are nice and fairly uniform together. And I just take it and gently wrap it around the hook like so. Take one loose wrap, one more wrap, and then I take this stuff, pull it back, and wrap in front of it. And then I jump my thread up onto the eye of the hook, grab the whip finisher, two, three, four. I like to do two whip finishes, one with four, and then one with three. it off use your favorite adhesive whatever that you want that to be and then once you have that on there and it's dry brush this stuff back a little bit brushing it gets out like the loose fibers that you see right here and kind of frees everything up so it moves on its own you can even brush it all forward be rough with it if it comes apart while you're brushing it you didn't tie it right and you want to do it again because it'll definitely fall apart while you start casting it there you go. Town run fly, done. Go fish it.